Yo, are you 411 and a victim of being too short to reach your gas pedal? Then this video might be for you. If you drive a 05 Outback Subaru and your power seat stops working. Um, I'm working on a 2005 Subaru Outback and the power seat function is not going forward. Every other function works, so it tells me that the switch is working. It actually has power going to it. So something might be wrong in the switch. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to disassemble the switch and clean it up to make the front motion work again. So since I couldn't find the video online, I'm making this to hopefully help someone. And it's only gonna take you maybe 10 minutes and might save you $70. So let's get to it. So what you wanna start here is get this piece off, remove this to access the rear of this panel to get this switch right here. I've already took the little plastic panels off, but as you can see, going back works fine, but going forward, nothing. So we're gonna take this switch out right here and then take it apart. I've already removed these two pieces. So this is the bottom and this is the top. You can just pry them right out with a flathead screwdriver. You need your Phillips. So you just want to take this Phillips, the two Phillips here, I already took the one out, Oops. and then you want to just push this top tab in, and now you have your switch motor. So with a flathead screwdriver or knife, you can go ahead and pry at these two corners here. And on the other side, these two corners here, you pry and pick that. You just gotta lift up and pull out. Huh. And this is what you get. And you gotta make sure that there's two little balls down in here below this white piece in between the white and the brown. Make sure you don't lose them. So, if you look at this piece here, plug this back in and if you were to flip this over and look this is your slider down here so when you take this out this is the bot this is what slides back and forth you can see you have two spring loaded knobs here and what you're going to do is take this one's smaller so you're definitely going to take a knife and pry up on the tabs here. Don't put too much pressure because if you, you can see that in this motherboard here, this is soldered in the center. There's four points, actually there's one, two, three. There's some soldering points here that you don't want to break off. So you just want to take this top cap off. You can see if you just pry very, you gotta be very careful and gentle with this, otherwise you break that solder and you'll be really screwed. And then you gotta buy yourself a switch. So very gently, just pry up on these little tabs here. And you gotta be careful too because this is also there's a spring on each end and as you pry up on this there's some tension from those springs and you gotta be careful yeah see now it just popped up so now we have one more and this is the tricky part is getting the inside tab to pop out what I have what I like to do is take the knife and kind of wedge it in between where the clip goes and pull out and kind of lift up and careful taking this out because there's springs in there and there's also little ball bearings make sure your dog is also going insane at the same time <sighs> So once you get those 
little arms, those copper arms out of place, you're going to want to scrape the contact points here, which is one, two, three, four, down in these grooves here, and just scrape away the black carbon buildup to basically get the, sh the metal shiny again so that it has a proper connection. I already did this, so I'm going to put it back together. Basically, it's just reassembly from here and remembering where you put everything. Balls are now back in place. And here's the underside of that piece I was talking about with the springs. It's kind of hard to make out. And you gotta be careful that the springs, make sure they're lined up. See how that one's sitting out of place. So we gotta fix that. All right, so just make sure you line your tabs up. You got two tabs and then a single one on the side here. One, two, and then one single one. And then the single ones want to go in the middle. Just got to make sure that your slider's lined up. Put this piece back in and snap it into place. Let's go try it. Let's test it out. Oh yeah, and there it is. Forward, back. All right, so that's it. Um, I know this isn't going to work for everybody, but at least for someone who might have the same issues that I'm having, this video might help. And if you have more than one function not working, at least this way you know how the switch comes apart and you can clean whatever need it to make it work. Hopefully, um, you know, it might save someone some money instead of paying 70 bucks for a new switch that actually didn't need a new switch. You can just take it apart and clean it. And it only takes you 10 minutes and like three tools. So any questions, leave a comment below. And thanks for watching. Later.